Hey guys, welcome to Archland, and uh, I kind of reached a month already. So what a what a milestone! M a, a month in playing, which means I was late in playing this game. So I'm playing catch up right now. Um, if you guys will notice with my roster in a while, I'll be you know I'll be talking more on the roster and see how I built my team so far. Um, how I built them, who are my, you know, my my projects, who are my mainstays. And um, so far, I think I have most of the important um, heroes that, that I need for me, I think. So without further ado, I, I won't be discussing the content um, in, in which I've, you know, I've, uh, I've gone through. This is um, most of you guys... Um, Usually we are stuck uh, in which, uh, for example, like right now I'm at team level 47. I'm stuck at some of the content. Some of you guys are stuck here as uh, at some point because you need to farm for you to, you know, to go through most of the content there. Okay, so without, without further ado again, let us see what heroes I have for you. So these heroes are ranked uh, based on combat power. I'll start first with um, the ones that I um, nearly used. Okay, because I was sifting through who I want to use, um, trying them out. And first and foremost is Einhardt. I used her sparingly. Um, unfortunately or fortunately, I got Gabriel, so she wasn't used much. Um, but she's a great kit, by the way. If you don't have Gabriel, she will do the job instead of Gabriel. Um, for Sersha, no, just tried to, um, what do you call this? Try to gear her up, but no, no serious use. Lohannes, I tried using Lohannes when I didn't have a good healer. I only have Avia in him. So at this point, I'm not using him anymore. Um, Nicholas was a project that I abandoned. I was actually kind of looking for more fire element um, characters at that time. So, but now I, I don't want to use her. Melissa, I used at the point uh, versus Einhardt. But again, I got Gabriel, so that is the story. Then Helsen, I tried, failed. Brown. It took me a while to discard Brown. It took me a while to say that I don't think he's going to be good. So um, I tried my best to ranking, ranking, rank him up and play him, but I don't think that um, he's gonna be good, guys. So uh, for for shooter or archers, I don't have any. And also, this one is Ibinatar. He is actually one of the projects that I am, you know, if I have extra gear and extra rune, I would build him. At this point, um, I, I really have a lot of assassins. So, um, he's going to be there as a project project to be. The true projects that I have is as Hassan. For a while, when I had no, um, when I had no uh, mages, I used Hassan, so most of the discarded gear he's actually using. Um, I haven't built him right. I, I think I built him right. I'm, I'm using the top um, the top tree for him. For the rune part, so these are the extras that I have. So more or less, I could still build him. Um, but at this point, I don't think I will be using him probably in the next few months. Layla, however, is going to be my true project because Layla is going to be part of um, part of my debuff team, which I'm actually thinking about putting together. But at this point, it's been put on hold. I'll tell the story in a while. Okay, so for Layla, I got the bottom um, um, row for skill. And her rune is the axe and plus additional physical penetration. So Layla, she's really a project. I'm, pl I'm planning to use her. I still, I do need Alicia actually. 
I, I'll, I'll tell you a story in a while. So after Layla, we have Bellet. So I'm continuously, I'm continuously building Bellet, Avia, and uh, Saken. I think is the name of the main character. So they are also a project that I'm closely building. For Bellet, I'm using the top row. For um, Avia, I, I have two healers actually being, you know, uh, using right now. So for Avia, I'm using the bottom row. And for Saken, I'm using the bottom row as well. So I'm, I'm constantly building these these characters. Um, let's go back to Bellet. So Bellet... Um, rune that I'm using for her is um, obviously for a... I don't have um, a defender, another defender. So she's going to be my secondary at this point. But she's still in the works. And uh, if you can go through... So Avia, she has, she has runes. Decent runes actually. So healing, this one is for HP. Then Saken is... Uh, have extra vampire so vampire rune and this one is additional physical attack so that is how i built them <clears throat> so before i f i go forward um let me just uh, segue a bit segue to an event so this event if you guys haven't noticed this this these are packages <clears throat> for a selector you know selector ticket for Either a hero or a, a, or a unique uh, equipment that already came, you know, before the current banner. So if you just uh, go to the shortcut, I got the one. <laughs> I got the one for the hero. It's actually disappeared already. It's not here anymore. So the hero selector. Uh, this one is for the the unique equipment selector so actually these are good buys these are around twenty dollars if you really need a, a selector for a specific hero that is going to unlock a specific feature that is uh, game changing then i would suggest you get this again I, I got the hero the hero version of this one and um while i was selecting while i was selecting i just realized that um, the previous um, the previous time I wanted Michael. Okay, but but currently during that time I was thinking about getting Alicia instead because Alicia is one of my solutions for a debuff team. Um, I'll I'll discuss that later. I kind of regretted getting Michael instead of Alicia, but in hindsight, in forward thinking. Uh, Michael is better. It's gonna be better down the down the road versus Alicia. I just need Alicia for the debuff team because she is dark and she's a mage, so that I won't you know I won't carry another another healer. So not, she's not a, she's not a mage. She's a healer by the way. Sorry, so I I won't be able to carry a an, another healer anymore. Um, again, so the debuff team ideally was going to be uh, Susie and Susan. You're going to have Alicia and the other one is going to be Layla. Then the two other positions would be Charlotte and Sighard. That was actually my thought. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, I was thinking that this could have been a mistake. And... I I 5% regretted getting Michael, but um, I'm just looking forward. I would need Michael eventually. Um, she's going to be good down the line, especially if you unlock all of her skills. She's going to be great. So at this point, I, I'm still confident about my decision. But um, in you know, at the back of my mind, I'm just, I'm just thinking, what if I got Alicia? I could have built my debuff team now and uh have no problems okay so in the comment section below please put down what you think was i right in getting michael or can i or 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 can i select um 
or I missed somebody instead of Michael, I could have selected someone, perhaps Alicia, perhaps another one. So please, again, put your comments, guys, down below. Did I did I make a mistake choosing Michael for the selector? So that is... I, I wanted to put myself at ease at this point. So you can help me by either agreeing with me for selecting with Michael or... Uh, tormenting me by disagreeing with me for selecting Michael and not select selecting someone else. Okay, so let's go to hero details for Michael. So equipment is good. I'm still building her up. As for the trait, I got her top row. The top row is going to be more on buffs. The bottom row is more on movement. So that is the difference of build. Um, if you want to go with buffs, you go on top. If you want to go with movement, you go with the bottom uh, row. So rune for Michael will be the axe as well. I wanted to give her a little bit more damage. And HP for the secondary set. Okay, so that is all for Michael. She's also a project at this point. Um, She's, she has very low combat combat power. So, again, please do comment in the comment section. Moving on to Balak, one of the luckiest pools that I've had so far in this game. Also a project. Um, I can't, I haven't... I haven't really... She hasn't really re reached the, the potential of Clafari at this point. There's a build. So, she's going to be a project. She's actually working her way up. I'm building her together with Susie and Susan. And um, these are her gear. Also for her trait, I chose the bottom part. Bottom part of her trait. And her runes are healing. And this one is for magic attack. Knowing that Balak has kind of a... Um, deals um, decent damage as a healer. So I'm putting there magic attack. Okay. So Balak... Next up, so Clarice. Um, Clarice is not using her much, but her equipment is good, by the way. So she has good equipment already. Um, I got the top row for her. And the rune is the axe. And this one is for critical hit probability. So she's decent. She's decent. If I needed, um, if I need to range uh, two assassins, I would usually bring Clarice and Semi here. Uh, decent combo for both. So next up is Catherine. Catherine, right now, the build that I have for her, she's she has tremendous damage, guys. Uh, equipment um, have um, SSRs already. For her trait, I went with the bottom, uh, the bottom row. Then for the rune, I equipped her with this one. She has big damage because of this one, the magic attack. I'm not sure, guys. What is this? What are these stars? Can, can somebody please tell me what are these stars here? This is the first time that I've seen this. Four stars beside the rune. I'm not sure what that means. So please, if you can, you know, um, inform this guy. Uh, what that means, I would be grateful. So, um, this is going to be for a magic attack plus additional debuff. Then, additional magic attack here for the staff. So, she deals a lot of heavy damage. Uh, she is really, really fun to use at this point. And I'm actually looking forward to unlocking her skills at level 45 or 50. I haven't unlocked most of their skills at 45. I we we actually lack the energy to do it. Then we have uh Clafare, my top healer. So for equipment, decent. I don't have a problem with this. This one is nice because it adds to healing effect. Traits, I got the bottom row. And for rune, I have the uh, the cross. And this one is for magic penetration, just additional, you know. Um, I could actually put here uh, for magic attack, but I can't seem to find the right rune yet. 
So let's leave it as is. So she is she is actually my main healer. She her job is just to heal, um, not really to attack. So next up is uh, Susie and Susan. So I built them quite well. Um, I've used them so far. PVE PVP. They they work like a charm. And um, equipment is these and traits. I got her. For the bottom row bottom row because of the teleport and there's a lot of potential in that skill and the rune by the way is uh reduce cooldown and this one is magic attack so i think this is the best combination for the twins okay so so far i'm, I'm happy that i built them um going back to the debuff team. So I wanted two more debuff, debuff. Uh, sorry, darkness heroes, so that I could activate the the additional buffs and the fifteen percent increase of damage inflicted when attacking targets with more than three debuffs. So again, uh, Alicia could have been my healer with darkness, and Layla could have been, you know, could have been my. Um, Layla could have been my assassin that uh, gives debuffs as well. Um, Alicia is actually the key to saving up on space, on ro on team space. Because if not, if you're going to go with the others aside from Alicia, your roster is definitely going to be full. You're only be, you're going to be having only one DPS, probably one healer, and the rest would be, would be darkness. So... Probably you'd be end up with two mages, and I think um, Peacock is actually good, but definitely not a secondary DPS. Uh, you know, um, on your team, she will be your third. So again, that is why I Bradley need Alicia for my debuff team. And uh, speaking of Peacock, she's here, so she's my third option um, for DPS. Sometimes I use her with Charlotte and Sighard. So equipment wise, decent. So she has her unique uh, equipment. Then this is actually a mistake I made because I was too greedy and um, went to the top, to the, the to the bottom row, and I also got the top row. But um, I think I can reset this in level sixty, so I'll have to wait. So far, it's okay. Don't don't have a problem with. It. I'm just irritated that I got I got the top row late, and I should not have. So I wasted a lot here, and I could not move forward with the bottom row as quick as I wanted to. So next is my top four. So semi, she lives up to the hype in terms of critical damage and dodge. Um, I enjoy using her um in content, and as you can see here. She doesn't have her her unique equipment yet, but she has a lot of SSRs here. This one is nice. Gain agility, last one turn. Give it one time per turn. So also for the trait, I got the bottom row. And for the rune, I obviously have the axe. And this one is for critical hit probability. So that is my semi. To the to the three to the you know the big three that I have so Gabby or Gabriel equipment is I'm happy with with her equipment I don't really have a problem traits this is also a mistake that I made I took the bottom row but I also took the top row after a while so I didn't know how to develop you know um, traits before skills so I made that mistake again I'm gonna reset this. But she will be a priority over Peacock, of course, because I'm using her frequently. So, again, a very... So, bottom row is what I'm taking. So, for the rune, I have um, shield, of course. Then I have HP here for additional survivability for her. Then, for the last two, we have uh, Charlotte, who is catching up. To Sighard. Sighard's rank 4 already, by the way. So, I'm still waiting for Charlotte to be rank 4. Semi is rank 4. And Clarice is rank 4. And so is uh, the main character. So, Charlotte here. 
for her equipment. I don't have her unique equipment yet. I'm still pulling for it in the banner. So it's it's the high rate that I chose, and these are her her other you know her other equipment. And for her trait, I chose the bottom row. Yep, the bottom row. And for her rune, I obviously got vampire. And uh, this one is for critical hit probability for the gladiator. And the last one, um, she's he's really like a tank at, at this point. So equipment. Unique equipment, good with the gear. Traits, I got the top part. And the rune is this one. The sword, not the sex sword. <laughs> this gets me a lot. <laughs> and also I got this for physical penetration. The, the hawk. Okay, so that is it. That is, this. My, my usually my team would be Sighard, Charlotte... Yeah, Gabby, Gabriel, then Clafare, then usually I would go with Catherine. Sometimes I'd go with Susie or Susan. Sometimes I'd go with Semi. Sometimes I'd go with Peacock. But the main five is one, two, three, four, five. That's it. The rest are fillers depending on, you know, if it's a specific element. And again, um, tell me guys. Did I make a good decision in getting Michael or not? Comment, please. So, thank you guys for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Warden. Oh, by the way, if I forgot to mention, this is... Um, I've been playing for 30 days. I think I mentioned it already in the intro. So, <laughs> thank you very much for staying this far. Take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.